Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the brand new Remove from Stock option provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, the Remove from Stock option is designed to reduce the amount of air cuts when removing material. Now, in this example, I have a part, I have a couple bosses on here, and the idea is that I want to remove material, but at the same time, I want to take into consideration the shape of the stock. Now, what I've done is I've created a layer called Forging. You can name this layer anything that you'd like. It doesn't have to be called forging. But if I open this up, you can see that I've created a solid model. And this solid model is going to represent the forging or the stock. All right, so that's the shape I want to take into account for. Now, we don't need it to have this layer turned on to use the function. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Now, the remove from stock option is going to be available both in your stock tool paths and your model tool paths. The only uh, one of the main differences between these two is that stock tool paths uses wireframe geometry and model tool paths is specifically for solids and surfaces. So for stock tool paths, let's use some wireframe geometry. I created just a simple overlay here. You can see it's just the basic shape of the part. In fact, I'll turn the model off so you can see that a little bit better. All right. So let's head up here to stock tool paths. I'm going to select the high speed pocketing. I'm going to ask one CNC to just to select everything that's on the screen. That looks good. Now I've already selected a tool here. I've got a three quarter inch diameter end mill. Not too worried about speeds and feeds right now for this. The depth of cut looks good at minus 0.75. I'm going to use high speed open. And if you look down here, there's a new option for mill expert called machine from stock. If I click on this little arrow, this is going to display every layer that contains a solid model. All right, so which layer do we want to use to account for when we're roughing? Well, I want to select the forging layer. So I'll select forging. That looks good. I'm going to take a hundred thousandths depth of cut for this. That all looks fine. We'll go ahead and let that calculate. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back plot this so we can see this a little bit better. And why don't we change the view to how about a left view? That looks good. Now you can see here that the toolpath has taken into account the diagonal sides of the forging on this side and this side as well. In fact, if we bring our forging layer back on and why don't we come down here to display, let's go with transparent, you can see now that the toolpath has definitely taken that into account. Same holds true for this notch down in this lower right hand corner. If I rotate this around, you can see how the toolpath has taken that into account as well. All right, so the remove from stock option available within 1CNC XR5. It's going to be available within your mill expert system, and it's going to work for both your stock tool paths and your model tool paths. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.